Hi. Hello. How are you guys today? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it seems like you're okay, right? <laughs> We're there. Okay. Well, I'm Marcella. I'm the social worker intern here. And um, Chrissy and Steve. Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, bring you, what brings you guys in today? Well... She constantly nagged me about cleaning the house. Is that Constantly, right? all the time. <laughs> you know what? Just stop, okay? Hold on a second. So what ends up happening is, okay, I work 40 hours a week, mm -hmm. okay? I work with kids all day long. So I'm really, really tired when I get home. So when I get home, I expect to have the house clean because he is an employer now. Well, even though I'm unemployed, I mean, I still do things around the house, like the yard work is done, and the kids get out to school, and I mean, there's lots of other things that I have to do. I mean, I don't just have time to sit around and clean the house, you know, I'm not, not just sitting here all day and looking for a job and doing all kinds of things. So, I uh, hear you saying you're doing different kinds of tasks that doesn't give you time to do the housework. Right, and all she wants to do is nag at me about cleaning the house. So, here's the thing with me, okay? Yeah, I get it that he's not driving the kids places and he does the yard work. Well, the yard work it only needs, it doesn't need to be done daily. You know, cut the freaking grass and then move on, right? It's once a week, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he leaves cups everywhere. He leaves his shoes everywhere. And so when I get home from work, after working with kids all day long, I, ex I expect him to clean up his mess. I'm like cleaning up well, after the kid. Number one. The cups, I drink out of those, and she's constantly taking them and putting them away, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to still drink out of it. Like, I don't have to use a different cup every single time I have a drink. Like, I could use the same cup more than one time. Okay. Here and my go. shoes, I mean, I like to have a lot of shoes. Like, right now I'm wearing flip-flops, but sometimes I want to wear regular shoes, and, I, you know, why should I put them in the closet when I'm just going to go grab them? Because you would have two pairs. feet. Yeah, but I might wear two or three Okay, let's take a pause. Time out, time out, because right now you guys are just fighting each other and complaining <laughs> yeah, about each other. Annoying. So yeah. you're saying that you, since you work with kids all day long, you get tired by the time you're home, and so you expect a clean house. But are you asking him... To clean this way, like it seems like it's just complaints, complaints. I don't hear a request. Oh yeah. Oh so. Oh no. Let me. It seems let, that way to me too. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Yeah, so. You? So. <laughs> no. So I would make him a list of things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. And so I'm telling him, okay, this is this is what I would like to, you know, to have clean in the house, but it never gets done. So then I have to clean up after him and everybody else after I'm done getting from work. But I have other things too. I mean, it's not—it's not like I'm just sitting around here. You know, I'm doing other things. Doing just because I'm not getting her list done. Okay. Well, is there a way that you guys could um, come to consensus? Well, we tried. That's over here. Well, we did agree with coming here, so that's a good thing. Yes, that's a positive. Yeah, because we know that there's a problem here with our communication. Mm -hmm. So that's as far as we got. Okay, so is there a way, instead of going, you, you don't do this, you don't do that, you can use your I stance, I would like this, maybe you try a different approach. Okay, so I would like you to get off your ass and clean up. Okay, now that's not how I do it. I would like you to get off your ass. Honestly, that's going to aggravate him. Okay. Right, yeah, so, I mean, but this is how it is every day. I mean, this is just how she is. Okay. Yeah, I am. I'm very frustrated. I'm very frustrated that the house is not being cleaned. Well, yeah, I'm frustrated about things too. Like, I have a lot of other stuff to do besides cleaning the house, and that's the only thing that you're focused on. Mm -hmm. What about if the toilet breaks or if, you know, a sprinkler pipe breaks or something like that, and you don't even know, and I'm already taking care of it. But And you're only focused on that cleaning the house. But those are if statements. If, if. It hasn't happened yet. If... Yeah, but if it does, I take care of it. But if the toilet breaks, then obviously, then yeah, that's a priority. But if the toilet spits, then... Now you guys are pinpointing things that are going wrong. So, obviously, we know that house cleaning is an issue. However, you're not taking into consideration that he has other tasks to do. I hear what you're saying. He's unemployed. So you think he has all this free time to, um, to be doing what you expect from him. However, is there a medium that you 
guys can take, like he can do some things and you um, to sort of satisfy you halfway, meet you halfway? Well, I don't know. Would it, could we come into an agreement where, where, I don't know, there's some things that I would like to be done in the house, would you be willing to do those? Well, of course. I would be will, I mean I would be willing to do some things, but you have to realize that I can't always do every single thing depending on how my day goes. Okay. okay. So that's a plan. Okay, yeah, we I can maybe write down some things that I would really appreciate if you could do and if you don't get to them then you don't get to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we do agree that you can try to ask them nicely, not Get your ass getting. Yes, it's very demanding. <laughs> like that. Because exactly. I'm very frustrated. I hear what you're saying, however, it's not his fault you come back home frustrated. <laughs> That's what I keep telling her. It's not my fault that you're frustrated that you feel like that. It's not my fault. So, however, that's another issue we can address in a different session. You're <laughs> stressed. However, now we are in a consensus that he'll meet you halfway and then you'll be considered of his desires too. Mm -hmm. I think I can do that. Good, it's about time. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs>